Welcome to a review of the EcoWit Essence 3 Weather Station. This is a very recent release from EcoWit, and as you'll know from our previous videos, we have looked at uh, such devices as the WitBoy, um, along with its console as well. So we're really excited about uh, testing out this particular model. Now, with the EcoWit Essence 3 Weather Station, you will get a WS3800 console, you will also get the brand new WS85 weather outdoor sensor and you'll also get the temperature and humidity sensor as you can see on the right hand side as well as all the associated mounting hardware that you'd expect with this model. So the WS85 outdoor sensor has some of the similar features to the Witboy in that you have the ultrasonic wind speed and direction you also have the rainfall sensor on top and that's it for this model so it keeps it very compact and uh, but much more simple uh, than the Witboy but still with very similar hardware in terms of the quality that we've come to expect from uh, EcoWit. As you can see there's this little compartment just like the EcoWit uh, Witboy here um, which you can put two AA batteries inside um, to act as backup um, during the uh, nighttime hours. And on top, as you can see, we've got the uh, solar panel there as well to help it charge uh, during the day, um, as well as the rainfall sensor. And underneath, we have uh, two buttons here, one for calibrating, one for resetting, and we also have the mount, which we'll come on to look at a little bit later on. The temperature and humidity sensor, well, it's pretty standard as per most of the EcoWit ones. Um, it will um, take two AA batteries there, and this one is the WN32A uh, one, which can go outdoors. So let's take a closer look at the console, the WS3800. Now, currently, we've got this set up to receive from the WS85, the Essence 3. Um, outdoor sensor there, but you can of course connect this to um, many other sensors in the EcoWit range. So for example, earlier we had it connected to our Witboy and it was showing, um, amongst other things, the solar and UV. But for now we're concentrating on the Essence 3 with the WS85, so we'll show you the features this console will display from that outdoor unit. So first up you've got the outdoor temperature and humidity, nice and big there, nice and clear. Um, you can, of course, change the units for a lot of these as well. Uh, we've got it set to degrees Celsius currently. You've also got the indoor uh, temperature and humidity as well. Then we've got the date, time, lunar phase, and this is set to show sunrise time and sunset time as well. Then we've got the wind speed and direction. And again, you can change those units. And we've got the forecast, which is currently uh, in the process of working out what that should be. It takes a couple of hours to um, gather enough data of barometric pressure change to work out what the forecast could be. But I believe there's five or six different icons that are shown for the forecast. And a quick check of the manual confirms that the forecast can show sunny, partly cloudy, cloudy, rainy, stormy, snowy, and even a storm snowy, which is an interesting one. Now, currently, as you can see, it's set to partly cloudy, but this could change over the next few hours. And then we also have the rain here, which can be shown as a rain rate, but also the uh, total rainfall as well. And uh, currently we've got that set to millimeters, but again, you can change that unit should you wish. Now, you might be wondering about the barometric pressure readings. Well, fear not, those can be shown in place of the rain uh, with a push of the button on top of the console and it can display the absolute pressure and um, the relative pressure, which we haven't yet set up, but of course that's relative to sea level. Now, if we just turn the console on to its front there, you can see there are lots of buttons on top here for setting up and settings, um, but you also have ones for uh, changing the temperature, rainfall, uh, scrolling, as I say, to the um, pressure, and then you've got one for wind speed as well, which will all change different settings for those various parameters. So for example, if I press the rainfall one, it will come back to the uh, rain 
um, per hour, that's the rain rate. But we've also got uh, the rain event, so that's how much rain has been falling continuously over um, the last event. You've also got daily rainfall totals, weekly, monthly, yearly, and the total. And if we do that for wind as well, um, that will scroll between gust and the direction. And it'll also show you the 10 minute direction as well as the average wind speed. Now the buttons on top are actually, um, they're very firm. Um, so you know, the, I think they're gonna be, last for a long time. Um, I think the whole unit itself feels a really nice quality. And I like this uh, shaded blue as well. If we spin this around the back, you've got um, a battery compartment as well for the backup batteries, um, should the main power fail. And the light, if you're not a fan of the lights, you can um, decrease that down a shade. That's not quite so bright. Or you can, of course, turn it off completely. And the display itself, really nice, crisp and clear display. Now onto the mount itself. Okay, so that's this uh, plastic section. Um, really, really foolproof. And um, if you're like me and you find the wrong way to install something every time, well, this hopefully guarantees that can't happen. You have a little groove inside there and that will um, only align in one direction with the groove on the base there. So that will slot in. You can have it in this position for wall mounting or you can in indeed uh, mount it to some kind of mast as well. If you are mounting it on the mast, I'd say take care that the, the height of the mast does not go above the height of the top of uh, the mount section here. Otherwise that could interfere with the ultrasonic anemometer. That's the wind speed and direction side of the unit. But you can also, if I can just slot this out again, you can mount this vertically as well. Again, ensuring it's lined up properly, which I didn't just do then. There we go, there's the slot again. And that can then be roof mounted as well, should you wish. And of course, the great thing about EcoWit is that they do provide all of the hardware you need. It's very nice recyclable paperback. Just spread that all out there. So you do have various screws, nuts, bolts, rule plugs, cable ties, and this I presume is for mounting onto um, one of the masts that we mentioned earlier. So that's nice, that's a really sturdy mount as well. I think that's, that's gonna last for many years to come. Well, of course, we're not just here to talk to you about this, we want to put this to the test. So let's move outdoors. So the installation to the pole was uh, relatively straightforward. Um, just one of the metal uh, U-bracket pieces there. Um, that just needs to be bent in with slightly to fit the holes. But once that was done, absolutely fine. Um, we've got it in a temporary location, which is about two meters high uh, before we install it with the rest of our weather stations up at about four meters. Now, obviously, if we leave this for a while, we should be able to um, work out uh, how accurate this unit is in comparison with our other um, units that we're running. But so far, it seems very promising. Now, you can see the wind speed there um, and direction um, updating every few seconds there. And um, to me, that looks a little bit on the high side. And if you're finding that the wind speed and is off slightly, then you can put this into calibration mode. And details about how to do that are um, included in the manual. Now, of course, this unit can be connected to the internet and to the EcoIt app. And from there, it can also, all the data can be pushed up to various weather sites. Um, for example, we tend to upload ours to uh, Weather Underground. And then that data is accessible um, via the internet uh, from anywhere in the world. You might also notice that the temperature reading is fluctuating. Um, that's because I've got it rotating between uh, the indoor reading and the outdoor reading. And if I compare the outdoor reading currently, um, it's very favorable to the actual outdoor reading I'm measuring on the EcoWit Witboy. So that hopefully is, is a good sign that it's um, absolutely going to be um, as accurate as the Witboy. 
and first signs are very promising. So it's a little bit tricky to do a summary because we haven't left this running long enough. But I think what we'll do is we'll um, leave this to run for about a month and then come back and comment on this video to let you know how we found it. But first impressions, as I say, are very promising. The whole system feels high quality. It feels like it's going to last. And if it's anything like the Whitboy that we're using, it's proved to be very reliable with no sensor dropouts whatsoever. The display itself on this unit, this console, is crystal clear um, and it's really easy to navigate through the various parameters there. Connecting to the internet was very straightforward, as was mounting the outside unit as well, and all the appropriate hardware has been included. It's also worth mentioning the packaging. Um, the product arrived in perfect condition, the cardboard box was definitely up to the task, and the uh, console itself was also separately packaged in its own cardboard box. Nice feature in terms of recycling, uh, there was very little plastic with this product, most of it could also be recycled, which is a consideration. In terms of the data updates, um, I always like to see the wind speed and direction update quite rapidly. Um, this so far is not too bad, um, we're quite happy with that uh, for our purposes, but you might want to have a more rapid update. And there are other weather stations, of course, which do enable that. But for us, that's perfectly adequate, as are the other updates for the other parameters. We haven't seen the rainfall sensor in action yet, but as I say, if we leave it for a month, being in the United Kingdom, we're guaranteed almost to get rain. So hopefully that will be tested out too. And we look forward to seeing that forecast icon change as well. Now, if you have any uh, comments uh, you'd like to share about using either this brand new Essence 3 station or any of the other EcoWhip products, we'd be delighted to hear from you in the comments below. Please also feel free to check out our other weather station review videos. And if you would like to take a moment to subscribe to our channel, there'll be lots more weather-related content coming up. Thanks for joining us.